What's going on guys? Today I will be installing this new speed rear motor mount insert for a Mark 7 slash Mark 8 Golf GTI. What this insert does is it helps stiffen up the shifts so that the motor shakes less, you get more feel. It will cause a little bit more vibrations as well as you can power out of turns a little better. Will this help with performance? Sort of. Will this help you go faster? Maybe. But it's a GTI. So without any further ado, let's get into it. The tools you are going to need for this project are a jack and jack stand, 21 millimeter socket, an impact or a socket wrench, a torque wrench, and possibly some silicone lubricant. Is jack up your car. I already have it jacked up for the sense of time. And we're going to use an impact wrench or a half inch drive socket wrench. And a 21 millimeter. Under the car, and we are going to take out the bolt holding the motor mount on the subframe, just like that. You're going to take this insert and you're going to slip it right into the mount. The bigger part goes through the back and it is a little tricky because it's kind of you're working with the rubber mount and it is kind of flexible but you just kind of got to shove it in there some lube does help and if you were if you were smart unlike me you would do this when the motor is cooled down a little bit but once it starts to go in there it'll slide right in just like so and you will take this metal plate that they give you, slide it right in like that. You grab your factory bolt that is technically a torque to yield, but you're going to reuse it. I would recommend using Loctite on it, but I don't have Loctite, so I'm not going to be using Loctite. And you, screw, you start screwing it in a little bit. You take your 21 on your impact, get it screwed in a little bit more. Realize that the 21 millimeter socket that you have is too thick. And go to the store and get another one that's thinner walled. All right, now that I got the proper tool that is needed, the chrome thin wall. 21 millimeter as I hit my head off of the ramps. Hey, look at that, it fits. All right, so you're going to screw it in, hand tight for now, until it stops. You're going to take your torque wrench. You're going to tighten this to 74 foot-pounds plus a quarter turn. Okay, that's 74 foot-pounds, and then a quarter turn. Yeah, it's about a quarter turn right there. And that's it, you're done. All right, so I installed the motor mount uh, bushing and this is going to be the first start and first drive. 
So first thing I notice is there's a little bit more vibrations on startup and a little bit more vibrations when the air conditioning is on, but that's all right. After a couple of weeks, it'll get a little bit more comfortable and the vibrations smoothen out a little bit. So let's take it for a drive. Alright guys, so that is how you install the new speed rear motor mount insert for a Mark 8 or Mark 7 Golf GTI or Golf R. And if you like this video and would like to subscribe for more mediocre content such as this, please do and take care.